Hi guys, today I want to talk to you guys about five things a gynecologist wants you to know about your gynecological exam. I know GYN exams can be very stressful for some people. To the point, there are some people who will just keep postponing their exams and not show up or not go and see a gynecologist for years. And that's not right. There are some people who told me, you know, this exam is more stressful than going on a blind date. Come on, it's not that stressful. It shouldn't be. So here are five tips I have you guys don't need to do any special prep just because you are coming to see me or coming to see your gynecologist. So my first tip, you don't need to paint your toes, okay? You don't need any pedicure. It doesn't matter how your toes look like. The chances are I'm not going to even notice it unless you bring it to my attention. So stop apologizing. You don't need to paint your toes. Number two, you don't need to shave your legs. Again, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to even see it or notice it unless you tell me. So come on girls, we know we are busy. It's winter out there. Did you see? It's cold. Nobody wants to shave their legs in winter. So don't worry about it. Just come. Number three. You don't need any special prep like waxing or shaving or um, getting any um, laser treatment. You don't need to remove your pubic hair. If you want to, you can, but not specially because you're coming to see me, okay? I am not going to notice it. I have been there. I've seen that. I've been in practice over 20 years. I have seen all shapes and sizes, so don't even worry about it. You don't need to shave, okay? don't need any special prep and another thing don't worry about that smell okay everybody's vagina smells right everybody has a body odor now if you your vagina has a bad odor then either you have like an infection like a bacterial infection going on or there's something wrong and that's why you are here to see me anyways aren't you so don't worry about it just come in don't apologize and remember, do not go to the drugstore or a grocery store and go to that aisle which sells all those feminine hygiene products, right? There are so many washes and wipes and uh, guard sprays out there. Don't you use them because they will get you in trouble. They will advertise that these companies are making a whole lot of money trying to tell a woman that her vagina is supposed to smell like roses. Nobody's vagina smells like that. Take it from me, I'm telling you, it does not, okay? So when you put those products inside your vagina or you use those sprays or wipes, what it does is that it changes the pH of your vagina. And that's when you land up in trouble and then you end up coming to see me or your gynecologist. So don't use them unless we tell you to go and get something to use, okay? And the last, the fifth one, and the most important one is that these exams are not painful. Stop worrying. Don't listen to people who tell you they are painful. Now, I have a whole video on this pelvic exam so uh, telling you how it is done and why it's not painful. So if you haven't watched it yet, go, down, go back and look at it again. I'm telling you, I'm assuring you that it's not a painful exam. It's a little uncomfortable. I'm not saying it's not, but it's just a five-minute quick checkup, and it can save your life. You can get infection control. You can, you know, get checked for um, cancer, any kind of an abnormality, abnormal bleeding. There are so many reasons why we do this exam. So pick that phone up, call make your appointment okay and come and see us come and see your gynecologist you want to come see me um, my information is down below you can contact my office email us or dm us on our uh, instagram handle which is glam gyno but please call and make that appointment take care of yourself goodbye